Wow, that was amazing. It's ama it is amazing. It's amazing. Thanks for um, coming up with this idea. No, it was, it was nothing. It was literally the least I could do. Well, let's start our conversations. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about you. Alright, I love that subject. Ask me anything. So, um, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm an Isis candy cherry tomato tree. Plant, a plant. I'm more, more of a plant. Uh-huh. Uh, what kind of um, tomato plants are you? Um, black from Tula, Solanum lycopersicum. It's a, it's a Russian heirloom. Well, you, you would think you would have your, your name memorized by now. Um, you struggle through that a little bit. You know, it's one of those things you, you, if you almost repeat it so much, you almost forget it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it sounded like Latin. Is that what you said? It was, it was a Latin? I think it was a Latin name. Yeah. Latin name. Yeah. Um, and we're talking about, um, we're not talking about uh, Latino Latin. We're talking about um, uh, old, the old Latin language. Mm -hmm. Right. I think it's used for uh, categorizing species. Um, and you should see, my, see when, when these things are, are ripe, they're beautiful. Like they kind of take on a kind of purplish color. Are you talking about your fruit? I'm talking about my fruit. You're talking about your own fruit right I'm now. Talking about my own fruit. Okay. So when your fruit comes, it's gonna come. It's gonna come in a big way. <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. That's good. See, this is what I want to do. I want to talk about, about you. Mm. Um, so you're anticipating the, the coming of your fruit. Yeah, it's going to come big. It's going to be, it's going to be black. It's an ugly tomato. I'm ugly, but it mo I'm oh, wait. the most delicious. Heirloom? Are you a I'm heirloom. Yeah, I come from a very uh, rigid kind of family dynamic, you know. Oh. Trying to keep it within bloodlines. Yeah, yeah. So you, you're, you're a heirloom I tomato you plant. Might, you might be as well. And now you're trying to tell me that I am also. I thought I was more of a common, common tomato. You tomato are. Tree. You are actually very. You're a New Englander. You're a Puritan. You're bred by you. You have like a very specific origin story here. I just want to. I want to talk about about you. I want to end okay. this. Because we're we're. I'll be honest with you. We're running out of time here. Okay. Um, I have to uproot pretty soon and and <laughs> and go and pick up my my kids from school. Mm -hmm. um, so let let's spend this last moment um, talking about you. If you're late, you're gonna have to catch up. Let's talk about you, in in your way. So you're you're out of a job right now. I am. Is that fair game? Is that to, is that okay to talk about that? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're out of a job. Uh, how about the fact that you're collecting unemployment? Is that okay to, to, yeah. to mention publicly? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're collecting unemployment. Um, you're no, you, you, you used to be uh, um, working at a, at a fresh farm place. What do you call this? What do you, what, what's a good name to summarize what kind of place you used to work at? I would say it was like a year-round indoor farmer's market. Yeah. So you were working at a farmer's market. You no longer are doing that. Um, what are you up to? What are you doing? Oh, man. Um, I, uh, I cook a lot now. You I, cook. Have a lot, I have a lot more time to focus on meals, okay. which is nice. Really like plan some meals. That's fun. That's nice. Um, so what, what are some, some of your uh, top creations? Recently, I just uh, braised some some beef neck. You ever had a beef neck? No. 
Oh man, they're incredible. Makes yeah. really good soup stock. Yeah, it's kind of like oxtail, stock. but the opposite it end. Be. I haven't had oxtail, so. Well, the oxtail is the oxtail, right? Sure. And the beef neck is the I beef neck. I bet you they're similar because they both get that same <laughs> amount of action on yeah. you know, the animal. Cartilage. The working part of an animal, yeah. you know, so that generates a lot of flavor. And oh, yeah. uh, how about what? What else have you been doing with all this new time on your hands? New time. Um, you know, looking for work. Uh, working in the studio. Why are you smirking as you're saying these things? Because I'm really self-aware. <laughs> self-aware of what? Myself saying things. Oh, okay. Is that and there are also things that you say. When you, have, when you don't have anything like a job to distract you, or no, even if you do have a job, but you know those things that are real, it's like you say them so much, it's you almost feel like they don't really mean anything, but it's like it's kind of the easy answer yeah. of the thing that you say. Like if people, you know, within like a limited, it could be like within like a kind of like small talk situation. Yeah, what yeah. are you doing? Oh, what are you doing with your time? And it's like, uh... You know, you give them like these, like these kind of like so quick, that, quick subjects, quick lines that you say a lot because it's easy. Right. Yeah. So that's what that fell under. Yeah. yeah. So are you looking for work? Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it didn't have to do with with the, with. Not but I was thinking of like I was. I mean, I was catching myself. I was smirking because I was catching myself like going through the the motions the of motions. saying what you've been telling yeah, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah. See, now we're trying to keep it real with you. Well, we're getting we're getting a little more um, real here, a little more raw, right? <laughs> a little more raw, Chris Smith. Uh huh. But mm. uh, what else have you have you been doing? What else have I been doing? I heard you've been uh, uh, caring for some bees on the rooftop. I got some bees. Yeah, that's been good. That's uh, that's fun. They're my. I feel like they're my children. They're they are also my minions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're your winter. minions? Sure. How so? They do my bidding. You send them out to do stuff for you? Sure. What do they do? What kind of things? Um, you know, collect nectar and pollen. Oh. Well, yeah, okay. I don't really ask too much of them right. as minions. I actually, it's like whatever, you know, I'm, a, I'm like, yeah, maybe I need to like assert myself more yeah. within the hierarchy. Right. Yeah. Because see, I thought I bees. thought I thought that you were actually sending them out to to attack people or to get revenge. Right. 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 Yeah. I get that. That's a, I get that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So bees taking orders from a tomato plant. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean, bees do a lot of things that are influenced by the by the local flora. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind yeah. of their mo. So. All right. Well, um, well, let's let's close this out. We have to close it out sooner or later. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, for one, look at us. We're tomatoes. <laughs> that was all you're doing. Huh. You yeah. know, that was your you 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 are the alchemist. Mm -hmm. you, you transformed our human bodies into tomatoes, mm. into tomato plants. Yeah. That's we, not. Who knows what the story is behind that, though? We could be dead. We could have died. This could have been some Eastern religious kind of experience that happened here. Yeah. Now we're tomato plants. You never know. Well, I had this idea right now that why don't we, right before the audience, if there's an audience listening to us right here, right now, uh -huh. why don't we turn back into our human selves? All right. Isn't that a good idea? Sure. All right. All right. Wow, here we are. Yeah. We're um, back to our human selves. Feels good. Feels great. I didn't know, because um, I've been here before, but I never knew that you had that power to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And if I, if I would have known, yeah. I would have taken you up on that before. How did you know you didn't have the power? I mean, it's <clears> not like you don't just come to a place and then all of a sudden you realize, hey, I can do this. Or, or is it? Well, I mean, you know, like... I'm kind of like more of a win in Rome. I'm more of a realist. Um, <clears throat> so, I like sticking with the facts. Okay. And um, the fact of the matter is I'm just not a tomato plant. Um, 
So that that's why that's probably one of the reasons why no. why I did it. But so I, you in this process you realize that you're living a lie. Well, I realized that you tried, you tried on a new hat, see if it was for you, and you realize it's not you. No, I, it's not me. But mm. but I'm willing to to try. I, I was willing to try it on. I tried it on, um, and uh, we'll have this this record. Um, we'll have this record. Of uh, of this happening, you know, of uh, of us turning into tomato plants. We yeah. actually we don't have the record of us turning into tomato plants, which maybe we should record that, like us turning into the tomato plants. And then that'll be the end. Yeah, we'll put. No, I mean I'll switch it around when I edit the video. Mm -hmm. I'll put us turning the vid. To, I'll put us turning into tomato plants at the beginning, mm -hmm. but we'll record it right now at the end. I think we should put it at the end. Only if we could put it at the beginning and the end. Alright, we'll compromise. Put it at the beginning okay. and the end. See, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Compromise. Yeah. So you stay there. I stay here? Yeah. Okay. Wow. That was amazing. It's ama it is amazing. It's amazing. Thanks for um, coming up with this idea. Oh, it was just nothing. It was literally the least I could do.